My name is Daniel Castro. Uh, I'm a PhD student under Dr. Irfan Issa, um, researching in the area of computer vision. And my position within OMSCS is that I'm a head TA for the computational photography class. So my background starts in Panama City, Panama. Um, I was born and raised there. Um, and then I came to the United States five and a half years ago to pursue my bachelor's degree in computer science. Um, throughout my bachelor's, I did a lot of research in computer vision with Dr. Issa. And after I finished my research, it made sense to continue it to my PhD program, which is where I am now. My biggest interest in the online master's program is accessibility. It's the ability to um, kind of spread the word on education, spread education throughout the world, and make it accessible to anyone. Because I feel like a lot of the issues that we have in education currently are the fact that we simply cannot afford to educate enough teachers um, to the number of students. Um, and I think that's the biggest problem in education. And so I think that the OMSCS program is a step in the right direction towards solving that problem. So I have two hopes for the direction of the OMSCS program. Um, the first hope is that the program continues to grow um, so that the classes go, say, from 200 students in a class to 5,000 students in a class. The other hope that I have is that the tools that we are using now continue to mature so that the experience becomes more interactive for students in the future when they are taking the class. What I like most about the online master's students is their involvement in the discussion forums. Um, they ask a lot of questions and they ask them quick and early on. And so it seems like they manage their time a lot differently than um, on-campus students, um, mainly because they're working professionals. And so they have to figure out um, when they're going to do the assignments and when they can have the time to um, tackle them. And so we get a lot of early questions for assignments we release, which is wonderful to me because a lot of the time the questions that get asked um, are very important to the assignment and they often point out, say, potential um, mistakes that we make in the assignments when we design them. And so it's quick and easy to go fix them, quick and easy to tackle the assignments in a much better way. And so that's what I love about it. If I could have any superpower, I think I would choose having a really good photographic memory. Um, I think that would be a great superpower because I'm notoriously, uh, I would say, bad about remembering things, and so I, I would love to have a much better memory in that sense. Um, but I choose it as a superpower because obviously having a really good photographic memory has its negative aspects, and I think that any superpower, every superpower, every superhero needs to have its positive and negative sides, you know, to be a superhero. <laughs>